Hey everyone, welcome to my collections and generics course. So in this video, I'll give you an introduction to generics. Now let me explain it to you with the help of an example. So let's say you want to write a class in Java, which will help you print data from an array, right? So it's a simple requirement where you just have to print data or values from an array. And for that, you need to write a class. Now let's assume that the initial requirement is to print an integer array. So you create a class, let's say print integer array, and it will have a method called print, which takes an integer array as parameter. And then we have the logic, which will just print the data from that array on the screen, right? So we run a for each loop, which says for each integer value inside this array, just print that value on the screen. So this class will be used for printing an integer array. Now let's say the requirement changes and now you want to print data from a string array. Now in this case, you can't reuse the same class, right? Because the print method over here is designed to handle only integer type of data. It will not accept a, a string array or any other type of array. So what you can do is you can create a new class. Let's say print string array, which will handle string type of data. So its print method will take a string array as parameter, and then it will have the logic to print that string array on the screen. Okay. Now, again, if the requirement changes, and now if you want to print data from some other type of array, then again, in this case, you'll have to create a new class, which will handle that type of data. Now, this looks like a lot of rework, right? We are doing the same thing again and again. So instead of creating n number of classes, what if we could reuse the same class so that it can be used with different types of data? So just think uh, if we could just write the class once and it can be used with different types of data. Now to allow such type of functionality, Java introduced the concept of generics. Okay. So generics basically allow our classes, interfaces, or even methods to be parameterized with type information. So it allows us to pass some kind of type information to our classes or interfaces so that they can be used with different types of data. Now, how generics are implemented in Java that we'll see in the next tutorial. So yeah, that's it guys. Thank you for watching. See you in my next tutorial.